Hi all, I'm on a mission to make my supermarket basil go further. I don't know about you, but I find that these die really quickly. Now this is just one that I picked up from my local Waitrose and I just think that there is too much in here. You can see that it looks quite pot bound. So I've sorted out four terracotta pots in my garden. And I'm going to divide this and see if I can actually make them go a bit further. So to start with, in the base, I've just got bits of old stones and things. So just to give it a bit of drainage, I'm going to put some stones in the base. Nothing too big. This is just a bucket that I have when I empty out other pots. I always keep the, the stones. So just pop those in there. I absolutely love basil in salads and in all sorts of things, on pasta and a tomato sauce. But oh, I'm just fed up of buying them and then they die before I can actually make use of them. So it feels like a waste of money and also I hate just to waste things. So there we go. So this is just some compost. Again, this is compost that has been used elsewhere. Basil doesn't need amazingly good quality soil. So I'm just going to put some soil in each. There. I haven't actually done this before. I saw somebody doing it on Instagram the other day and then I actually looked up somebody else doing it on YouTube. I think it was the, was it the French gardener. He had an amazing French accent, whoever he was. And um, I just thought, yeah, let me give that, let me give that a go. I think I could probably actually divide it out more than four, but four will be plenty for my windowsill. So just break them open. It's really a lot there. So just pop it in the pot. You can see there's still quite a lot in there as well. Put some more soil around it. It's really a lot nicer day today. It's a lot cooler, so it makes me want to be out in the garden doing a few bits. It was so, so hot here in the UK yesterday. And I know I've got followers from all around the world who have much hotter climates than, than I do, but um, we're just not used to it here. So <laughs> when we have hot weather, it feels as though we absolutely melt. that in there. I was trying not to get mud everywhere but it can brush off can't it? That's a bit smaller but it doesn't matter. I, th I definitely think it could divide more than that. I think I probably could have got eight out of this. But if it works, I can do it again. This will need watering, but by the looks of the sky and looking at the weather forecast, we're about to have some light rain. So I'm going to risk it and just leave them outside to get some rain and then I'll take them in and I'll put them on my windowsill. So the other thing as well that I believe you can do and I'm going to give it a go is that you cut off this. Oh, let me go and get my secretaries. Bear with me. So if you just cut it off below a shoot 
like that. And then just take off the top leaves. You can pop that in water and then apparently in a couple of days, those will actually root. I'll show you if it does. Let me do another one. There. So just take those off and take some of the higher ones off. Pop it in water. and watch the roots grow. Anyway, that's it for now. I will let you know how I get on, but I can't see why that won't work. They look really healthy. And now I have four pots of healthy basil rather than one that's pot bound in this that's going to die within a couple of days. So I call that a, res a result. It's three weeks on from when I took the clippings of the basil. The basil that I separated and put into pots straight away is looking really, really healthy on my window ledge. I water it and it's got it's a warm environment, it's light, it's bright and it's looking so healthy. We've been eating it in salad and um, in pasta and it just keeps going and going. So I thought I'd take a look at these ones. So these ones I took snippets of about three weeks ago they're covered in mud because we just had a bit of an error whilst recording um, but these have just been in water and they've got amazing roots and that one is about two weeks old it's well worth doing now I'm going to put it in a pot this is an old terracotta pot that I put some gravel in the bottom and some just general soil in I'm going to put all three of these roots in here and then put that on the window ledge too and they should grow just as well as the um the other ones which is brilliant so what i will do today is take three more clippings or a few more clippings so i'll just keep the supply of basil going for as long as it's happy living on my window ledge and actually I wanted to show you something else because I am always just cutting herbs and putting them in the house in jugs of water and this is totally accidental but I put some sage in a little vase and you'll see that that has also rooted so I'm going to put that in some soil as well and hopefully I can grow that on as a healthy herb which that then will go into my herb garden in the front of the um, house. I hope that was useful. Just doing everything I can to save money at the moment. I hate buying the supermarket basils and then throwing them away because they're pot bound and they don't last very long. So I'm just going to keep doing this and enjoying fresh herbs on my window ledge each and every day. Bye for now.